it's time for another one of our famous reviews here at Potato Productions. But on a side note, Reno is back with Potato Production. Everything is running smoothly, once again, like it should be. Back to the review. Today we are going to be reviewing a game based off the 1940s classic shorts of a cat named Tom and a mouse named Jerry. That's right, Tom and Jerry. And today I picked the game Tom and Jerry in House Trap for the PlayStation 1. Now, this game, I wouldn't say it's v like great or super awesome, but it has its moments where it does shine in its ranking of coolness. I say this game's a pretty good game, and uh, I was just digging through some old games today, and I found it, and I was thinking... This would be a very good game to review, so uh, let's pop it in and try this bad boy out. Alright, I was just playing this game today, and uh, I built up some memory to show you guys. Butter or worse. I also have Kid Gloves, Our Man's Fight, Cheapskate, Pumping Iron, Nightfall, Pop Goes the Cider, Garden of Eden, Confused Kid, Tax for Moon. But let's get into the first one, Mouse Clean, to show you guys how the game starts out. This game was made in 2000, so it shouldn't fail us, and as you can see the graphics are really outstanding for this kind of a game, where all you do is run around and fight, yeah that's basically the purpose of the game, is to run around and beat the crap out of Tom. No. How dare you beat Jerry? Jerry never loses. Uh oh, don't say nothing. Look, there was like a super glitch right there. It just went right through the vacuum. Cool distraction. Too bad I don't have anything. Dang it. As you can see, I'm more damaged than Tom is right now, which kind of sucks. Come on, vacuum. Aww. Ah, 
ha ha. And game. I'm the winner, naturally. As you can see, that's basically what the game is. So, uh, yeah, basically that's what you just saw, is what you mainly do throughout the whole game. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a fun game. I enjoyed it, as you can see, it was pretty fun to just run around and beat the crap out of Tom, or probably beat crap out of Jerry if you're playing with a friend. That's an upside that it has multiplayer. Play with a friend, beat him up, whatever. <laughs> I'd give this game a 7 out of 10, mainly for graphics, gameplay, and the fact that it has multiplayer. The flaws would be it needs more of a variety. Like, that'd be cool if what I just did would have been, like, a side mission or a side mini game for bonus. But I really wouldn't think that'd be a very good game, like, based off of the whole game. It'd just be that. There is a variety in them, like, um... The chicken one, like I was telling you, you have to save the chickens before Tom fries the chickens. Or in the Spike one, you have to wake Spike before Tom tries to throw away your instruments to keep Spike asleep. Whoever does whatever first three times wins the game. And, uh, yeah, that's mainly what you just do throughout the whole game. And then there was one mission which I had which I didn't save. It was called Mechana Cat. Where it's a robotic cat you have to defeat, which was kind of hard. I didn't do it yet, but I'm hoping to uh, do it in the future here. I would recommend this game to people. If they ever see it, buy it. I doubt you see it anywhere in the stores today, but eBay mostly have it. So I say go on there, check this game out, buy it. You won't go wrong with it. It's a simple, family wholesome game. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this kind of a game. All you do is go around and fight. I mean... How can you screw that up? Unless you have, like, I don't know, some kind of stupidity. Screw up the game, all you do is go around and smack people with objects. But that's not mainly what the whole game is about, though. I mean, there is other rooms that opens up so you can get other things, like the pool room, the computer room, the upstairs, the attic, the kids' room, the outside, the alleyway. Uh, anywhere, you just run around and do whatever you want. Smack Tom in the head with whatever you find. It's a really fun game. So, uh, yeah, this is Burning from Potato Productions. See you next time.